I'm Mary Catherine Gardner, and this is the Sheep Brain Dissection. <laughs> okay, so this big area is the cerebrum, and then we also have the gyrus, which is the white part right here, and the sulcus, which is the darker part, and here we have the longitudinal cerebral fissure. And here we have the brain stem. And here we have the midbrain. And here we have the cerebral peduncle. Here we have the superior colliculus and here we have the inferior colliculus. Here we have the pons and this is the medulla oblongata. <laughs> This structure back here is the cerebellum, and then down the middle, it's hard to see, but this is where the vermis should be. Either side makes up the lateral hemispheres. Okay, for the meninges, we have the dura mater, which I already cut off, and the arachnoid matter is supposed to look like a film on the brain, but it's hard to see, and the pia mater layer, uh, you can't see. It's below the arachnoid layer. Here we have the pituitary gland. And for C and olfactory one, we have the olfactory bulb. And here we have the olfactory nerve. And for cranial nerve two, this is the optic, optic nerve, this is the optic chiasm, and this is the optic tract. And here, for CN3, we have the oculomotor. For cranial nerve for the trochlear, it's not visible, but it would be somewhere in this region. So for cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal, <laughs> middle, sorry I didn't say that right, it should be in this region, and the abducens is right here, this tiny little thing right here. So now we're gonna cut down the mid sagittal of the brain and we're going to open it up as you can see. Okay. And in the mid sagittal section we see the corpus callosum. And here on the sheet brain we see the thalamus. Here we have the hypothalamus. So the lateral ventricle is a little hard to see, but if you get close, you can see that it is right here. Okay, hold on. Okay. And here in the mid sagittal section, you can see that this is the septum pellucidum right here in this section. Now it's a little bit hard to see, but um, we're still on the mid sagittal section, and here you can try and see the chorid plexus. The third ventricle is also a structure that's a little bit hard to see, but I think it would be in this region. It's hard to tell on this particular sheep brain. Continuing on in the... Continuing on in the mid-sagittal section, you can see the cerebral aqueduct. And here in the mid sagittal section, you can see the fourth ventricle. See? Great. And here we have the arbor vitae, and it looks like a tree, kind of, if you can see. And on the very end of the sheep brain is the spinal cord. It's already been cut in half, but you can see it's very, very visible. So here you can see quite obviously that this is the white matter right here, the lighter. The darker matter is known as the gray matter and it's, as you can see, just the darker matter. Again, this is the white matter, this is the gray matter. So the ventral root and the dorsal root are a part of the spinal cord, but on my sheet brain, um, they really aren't visible, but they're on opposite sides and they connect to the spinal cord. So, if you can, I wish I could show them, but they don't appear to be visible. So, 
And here is my small cross section of the spinal cord.